Um, hello, everybody, and welcome to the internet. Uh, is do I have a fion with me? Do I have a fion hello. with me? Hello, you do. hello, okay. loud and clear. Hello. Forgive us for a, a slight little intro there. I was just making sure everything was coming through loud and clear and everything was working. I can confirm everything is working and we are on the internet. So we can get started with our first game of the Tiny Teams Fest, or our stream at least. Uh, we're doing a bunch of puzzle, uh, not puzzle games, we're doing a bunch of base building games today and maybe a puzzle game later. Um, let's get the first game up and on your screen and away, shall we? This is called Chambers of Devious Design. <laughs> um, I don't know why we're doing Evil Laughs because the game, when I load it, actually does an amazing Evil Laugh of its own. I actually had this up on the stream ready before the stream started, but then it did an amazing Evil Laugh. So I've now closed the game and I'm going to load it again so you can hear the Evil Laugh. <laughs> let's go. Thank you for the cinematic genius on, on your behalf, baby. <laughs> Did that come through? Did you hear that? Amazing. Um, incredible, incredible. So this is Chambers of Devious Design and I'm assuming uh, I'm gonna need to, hold on, hold on, hold on. Technical difficulties, I've forgotten something. We'll be Pipe ready in through. a moment. Pipe it through. I'm, I'm piping it, I'm piping it. Thank you, the, don't put it like that, don't put it like that. Okay, what? it's a bit too early for that. We're like two minutes <laughs> in for fuck's sake, okay. um, Goodness me. There we go, now you should be able to see it as well, babe. Excellent. Um, Murky buckets. Okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. Uh, what's up? What's up? What is up, Freon? What's going on today? What are we doing? The Chambers of Design and many other wonderful games that we're going to be playing today. Uh, say the that again. Oh, okay. You do come through a bit roboty when I start sharing my screen. I your love technical face, difficulties. Your face comes through a little bit roboty. Okay, you're fine, now. you're fine now. Yeah, you're fine now. You're fine now. We're going to be playing many wondrous games. Yes. Over the course of our, our little slot this evening. Our tiny yes. slot, if you will. Our tiny slot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, no, maybe I shouldn't have put it like that. Anyway, what? on to the Chambers <laughs> of Devious Design. So, <laughs> so yes, um, we are going to be doing Chambers of Devious Design <laughs> for our first game this evening. We've got a bunch of other amazing stuff coming your way later on. But for the first hour, uh, we're going to be doing a little base buildy themed game. I'm actually going to read out a little blurb here just so you guys can get into the vibe of what we're doing today. And then I think we'll start with the tutorial. Um, so, oh. <clears throat> Chambers of Devious... <laughs> Hold on, I need my best, like, mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, mwah. <laughs> Chambers of Devious Design is a tactical base-building game where you are tasked with designing an evil lair for an evil mastermind. But watch out, you are not the only one looking to gain favor with the boss. Come up with creative designs and sabotage your competitors. Nice. Um, so this is, this has a bunch of tags on the store page. It's base building, turn-based tactics, roguelite. Sounds like an interesting mix. Uh, let's get started with the tutorial, shall we? Let's go. Hop right in. And who might you be? Are you gonna do all the voices? Yes. A new minion, oh. huh? <laughs> well, let's put you to good use. I need a new lair. Go, build me one. I'm known for my, my, my building skills. So and you better okay. make it evil. Oh, evil building skills. Mm, not yes. sure about that, but oh okay. We, we can try We can try our best, sis. I'm loving this already. I'm loving the whole vibe. So we're not the actual evil, evil overlord. We are one of his minions, and we're trying to impress him with a new evil lair. Okay? That's what we're going yeah. for. So, welcome to Chambers of Devious Design. In each match, you are tasked with building a new evil lair for an evil mastermind. Don't ask why he needs so many lairs. Uh, in each match, you start with only one room, which functions as the basis for your lair. You can expand your lair by placing new rooms next to your existing rooms so that two doorways are facing each other. Okay. Uh, you, you control the camera with WSD, scroll up and down, left button select room, right button cancel, Q and E to rotate. Okay, pretty standard stuff so far. You've got this. Uh, go ahead and try placing a few rooms. Don't mind if I do. Um, okay, any of these rooms taking your fancy, babe? I like the I big mean... circle. You like, well, have a circle room. It looks like an outside rather than a room, to be honest. It does look like a little evil gu In fact, it is. If you look on the right there, it's is an it ominous an courtyard. Gun? Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's, um... An okay, ominous so... courtyard will bring happiness to all, and even evil people need happiness as well, so... So it looks like these little sort of white dots, I guess, are the connectors. Um, so I need to put it in such a way that it's going to connect. So let's put it there. 
I just okay. got gifted a sub. Thank you. Uh, we also uh, have a bunch. Of, so what we got here? We got the deviously lazy lair. It's an entertainment room. We have the gloomy dining hall, a kitchen room. We have the spell testing station, which is a magic room. You don't want to put those two together, you know. Cross contamination from the sure, kitchen to sure. spell room isn't isn't a good idea. You I don't think. Yeah, I just some realized yeah. how you've made my puppet tinier, haven't you? What? I just realized. Excuse me. Fuck. This is fuck. this is to scale. That's tinier than the one. That's it's to scale, was, babe. Than what it was earlier. It's scale. How dare you? Hi, anyway, my What's going on? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> But yes, you're right. You probably don't want to get your magical reagents mixed up with the other ingredients uh, for the kitchen. Uh, we also have the food colouring depot. Um, mm -hmm. The well, stockpile. The depot of... can go next to the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, in fact, is there like... I guess we'll figure this out. Is there like a bonus for like putting... We'll figure this out. Let's just put this down and see what happens. So I'm going to put the yeah. gloomy, dining hall, gloomy dining hall there. Oh yeah, here we go. So you can find more details about a room by hovering the mouse cursor over that room. Each room has a score value, which is counted towards the total score of the player who owns that room. Um, some rooms have a room type symbol next to their score. This is called the neighbor bonus. Ah, just what I was thinking. So, if the room, the room will gain bonus score if it receives a neighbor room of that specific type. Rooms are considered neighbors if their walls are touching each other. Okay. So all room types have a unique room effect. With most rooms, this effect can be activated by completing that room. And a room is considered completed when all the doorways in that room are connected to other doorways. Right, so those are doorways, those little white dots. We need to connect as many of those as possible. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, sabotage rooms, mm. here we go, are a special room type, which have an effect that is activated immediately when the room is placed. Looks like we've got like cannons and stuff here. Okay, That okay. makes it evil, right? Yes. Very. So here so we go. We can on. rotate the room. We could put it like yeah. that. You could, well, or like hmm. that. Yeah, but you want to connect. We want to exactly. Possible, we right? don't want to like close any dots off, do we? So, would it be best to actually put it? I think it would be best to put it like this because then you still leave the other sides open. Maybe we'll figure it out as we go. I'm going to put it like this for now. That's my gut instinct. So. You could, mm. Could that's... you? I don't know if you could. Hmm. Okay, sorry. I'm just thinking <laughs> no, no, about think the formation out loud. That's of rooms fine. right now. So the well, I don't know if you of... can put that there, if you could put that there, but you put that there. It's a little so, bit like anyway... Lego, isn't it? What's your favourite Minions movie? Do you prefer I... the Despicable no, Me movies, or do you no, prefer what? their solo endeavours when they branched out into their okay. own Minions movie? We're like 10 minutes in. I can't believe we're <laughs> into this already. <laughs> Uh, the answer is no, and please carry on. <laughs> okay. You need to build the most devious <laughs> castle of them all, babe. Come on. So, the score of a room also acts as the defense level of that room. Sabotage effects can reduce the score of a room, and if any room has their score reduced to zero, that room will get destroyed. A room will also get uh. instantly destroyed if any of its doorways are directly connected to a doorway belonging to another player. Okay. So, destroyed rooms will immediately disappear from the map. Uh, if this causes some of your other rooms to no longer be connected, those rooms will get disabled at the start of the turn. Wow, you can really create a lot of damage here. So, disabled rooms will otherwise behave like normal, but you cannot continue building from them and you cannot target them with abilities. You can reactivate them by placing a new room next to them. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the spell testing station is quite a nice little room here. We can just fit that into, like... Ah, oh, but then that closes off that doorway. Yeah. Right. You could put it adjacent to the garden again. Just like, just like off off the top here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I was wondering if we could fit the one of the purple rooms in. Um, yeah. On, on the on the south side, but you put in the orange room, so I don't think you can now. Well, I think this is the roguelike aspect of it. It says when only one room remains available, a new set of rooms we generated. So I don't think you don't get the same rooms every time. You obviously get like random sort of no, like I said, Lego pieces. You have to. Yeah. I guess you're looking at the shapes mostly, but then the effects afterwards, or yeah. you know, whatever, vice versa. This is a tricky piece. I don't know how we're gonna. Thanks. That way, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... No, it doesn't. It doesn't quite. No? It doesn't, doesn't quite. Line up? The doors don't quite match. Mm, um... I think. I think we fumbled a little bit putting the garden down right away. I can do it like that. That seems like that could be useful. There we okay. go. Okay. Oh, what's this? I got an ability. Oh, mm -hmm. hold on. I think our little avatars are in the way of that. I might have to move them because I've just got a bunch more important information at the bottom of my screen. Uh, for the sake of the viewers, because we care about you so much, guys. Uh, I'm just going to quickly Beautiful. move around my uh, my doohickeys here. Um, we'll put that like there instead. That should fit nicely. Um, 
There we go. There we go. Um, so, let us know if that gets in the way of everything else, but um, hopefully that fits in nicely there. Right, so you can see uh, we can gain extra score or other bonuses by being the first one to complete the bonus goals of that match. Each bonus goal can only be completed by one player. So, the bonus goals are to get three times magic room, four times utility room, three times entertainment score, and the main objective is to score 60 points. Okay. So here, um, we have a new power that lets us refresh the available rooms, usable once. So I think if we get stumped, if there's nothing that looks like it's gonna fit, we can use that power to get a new selection of rooms. Okay. Okay. So anything taking your fancy here? Anything looking like a viable mm. way to go? I mean, this is the tutorial. I don't think we really need to overthink this right now. Um, you can, you can um, rotate, you can rotate pieces, right? Yes, yes. So I reckon the, the purple piece that looks like an L shape at the bottom there, if oh, you yeah. were to rotate that round and slot it into the, the purple shape at the top there, yeah, 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 like that. Oh, wait, mm. no, it doesn't line up. Yeah, oh. it doesn't line up, babe. It's good I thinking, but it's not quite there. What about, what about, no, because we're going to shut the doors off there. Mm. Now, this does fit into this, but it's quite a tight and fit. It, it, does, it doesn't shut anything off, though, does it? Or does it? It does. I could try of. like this and just hope that we get something no, that fits. Put, you should put it on the other side where you had it to start with. Yeah, you think? I like reckon that? so. That doesn't lock too much off, right? Fair enough. Let's try it. Oh, we got some new... Th okay, so... Okay, it's a good thing You're we moved our welcome. avatars because there's a lot of stuff here now. So we have gained passive perks. These will give you bonus score when you place rooms of specific type or perform specific actions. So, uh, we also have special abilities, um, which we just talked about. We can double-click to activate the abilities. Um, yep, standard stuff there. So, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's basically we now have passive abilities... Plus two bonus score when you use a special ability. Your entertainment rooms get plus one score. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna lump this one in here. A nice simple addition like that. That opens many doors for you. So the player icon at the top here shows the total score for each player. Um, so I think we have a score of 18 right now and our objective is to score 60. Okay. That seems like a long way off, given the pieces that we've got and the arrangement we've put them in. Yeah. Um, hmm. I feel like we've closed ourselves off a bit here. Um, a little bit. Just piling rooms onto each other. Do we, I mean, what happens if we do close off? Is it just going to be like well, game over? You, I think we just you lose possible points you could yeah, get. Yeah. Right? I don't so think don't it's like close yeah. Off as many points. I don't think it's like game um, over or anything. It's that just seems you've... okay. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think so. There we go. So we can press space or click the I symbol to toggle quick info bars on top of rooms. Uh, and G for the grid as well. Ooh, helper grid. Ah, there we go. That's much better for me. I like that a lot. Uh, we also have space for the eyeball. Oh, that shows us the abilities on each room. There we go. Now, this is an interesting shape here. I'm feeling like we can just extend this shape and have this come off like this. Okay. I was wondering if we should flip that around and try and fl uh, like fit that in on the north side. In, in the, the little gap in between there. But I was mm, in the middle. Yeah, but flipped around more. I guess not. Yeah, it's gonna because no. that's going to close mm. off the other one. Yeah, so maybe we had it originally. Be a we good could idea. do that, technically. Yeah, weird, I mean, there's there's no points that you're missing there, but it's going to be harder. To I think this is those other this is probably the safest one. I think. Okay. So once the win condition has been reached, reached fuck, <laughs> and all players have had an equal number of turns, the player with the most points wins. Okay. If you cannot place a room anywhere for two turns in a row, you lose the match. Oh, okay. So oh, yeah, no. there we go. That's the fail condition. Well, I think I think you should attach the, the, the green room that you've got left onto the, the only area you've got left onto the garden space. Well, either way, that's the end of the tutorial. I say oh, we, okay. we keep going until we got 60 points, we finish that objective, and then we have a whole campaign to explore. Okay. So um, let's just, I think we can just bumble through the tutorial for now, and then when we're actually in the campaign, we can give a proper go of it. Oh, that doesn't fit there either. I'm just going to see what happens if I play some willy-nilly for now. While we're in the tutorial, we might as well just mess around. See what you can do. Oh, there we go. Oh! So we now get to pick something. So your next room effect triggers twice. Plus one score to all neighbours or gain an additional turn. Gain okay. an additional turn? Could be that sounds very powerful, ones. yeah. 
Now, we we are just alone in the tutorial, but yeah, we'll be going up against other minions vying for the Overlord's attention soon. There we go. Oh man, these are, there's some interesting shapes here that's going to cause some problems. It's not necessarily just the shapes though, it's the points that are on them. Yeah, oh man, this is a really tricky one, this five. I, there's nowhere I can put this in without bumping into something. Okay, I'm gonna abandon that one. Let's try this. Oh no. Oh no. You okay, can well do that's it. going there. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh dear. If only you could fit that one in that space. <laughs> oh man, I'm just gonna, let's just, to hold get... on. <laughs> let's just oh okay okay we just need to get 60 points right we're not up against anyone else so we can just go if for you, the big if you books. randomly play shit one, one after another then you, you're not gonna have any space <laughs> to put anything we have got some new gain an extra turn um refresh available rooms increase the score of a target win by two hey there we go that's just an upgrade so this is now worth three points there we go you see the green one that looks like a, a tetris piece yeah you can flip that around and you see where the blue one is? Yeah. Yeah, like that? There. Yeah, it can look like that. I reckon that's okay. good. Okay. Gain a random perk sounds good to me. Woohoo. Yep, go for it. Oh, 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 we're doing good. I think we're doing mm. good. <laughs> the, the Overlord will be impressed. Uh, random perk again, why not? There we go. So this is giving us a lot of plus ones to all every type of room here. This is good. Uh, let's try and fit one of these in oh no that's not that's not gonna happen is it that's a lot of points you could open up there i think you should take that one with lots of points and add it to the the purple three that's the very north of the map like like that maybe oh, probably uh, like no, that i meant, would I meant the more. one that was literally had a number one the orange square that had more points oh uh, it, right, oh, you meant, right so and then come off like that probably there we go yeah because then it's opened up way more points for you there Mm, yeah, no, there, there, there. Well, we're Back. nearly at the 60. We just need five more points. So let's just, I think we can just slam these down now. You say that. No, That's could go wrong, though. Okay. 64. There we go. Boom. Okay, fine, fine. You win. Okay. Oh, I love this character's outfit, actually. That bell. Oh, I want one of those. Um, really? We can yeah. Get you a skull belt I need a skull belt. I need a skull belt, Burkle, babe. I need that. There's, there's no problem. <laughs> that is an achievable goal we can deal with. Excellent, excellent. Right, well that was the tutorial everyone. What are you guys thinking so far? This is a nice little introduction as to what the game's all about. I do think it's going to start to get a bit hairier and scarier though now because uh, we're going to be... We're up for it, though. Yeah, we're going to be up for against other minions, but I think we are the best minion. Uh, we have obviously uh, watched all the minions movies. We've done a lot of research before the stream. Uh, let's start the campaign, shall we? <laughs> let's go. Okay, so okay, there's other characters we can unlock as uh, well. Uh, Indeed, yes. But for now, all we have is Vivian. Uh, what difficulty? Oh, she made she made a noise just then, babe. She made a noise. Um, <laughs> you, so did you as well? A not so subtle noise, anyway. Um, so I think we should probably put the difficulty on like normal, right? Maybe not master. No, I don't think um, we've mastered this at all. Yeah, it looks like we can get some other effects as well by winning more matches. Okay, well let's start the campaign and see, what, see what's up. Welcome to our evil organization. <laughs> Thank you. Vivian, I'm happy. was it? Oh. Yep. I'm Don't interrupt. Happy. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, boss. Marvelous, I need you to build me a new lair. No problem, I have a degree in- Don't art. interrupt. I'm sorry. Maybe something where I could spend a few weeks in the summer. Yes, an evil summer lair. <laughs> Would you like a pool? Don't interrupt! I'm sorry! I will also need you to come up with new evil nicknames for me. How about... Don't interrupt! <laughs> <laughs> Lately I ordered everyone to call me the supreme evil. But I feel like it's not evil enough, you know? Well, what do you think? Uh, Don't interrupt! Uh, I need something that makes every living being quiver with fear <laughs> when they hear it. How about evil vampire man? Actually, they should quiver with fear before they even hear it. 
How about you just shout, don't interrupt. I cannot be running an evil organization with a name that is just subpar <laughs> evil. No, how about Elon Musk, yeah. So <laughs> stop thinking of names and what was the other thing? Oh, you got me all confused now. You've interrupted me too much. Ah, yes, the summer cottage. Get to it. I know you won't disappoint me. Yes, boss. Okay, this is your chance. Let's show him what we're made of. So are you, I like to think that I'm his minion and I I'm recruited minion you here. to yeah. help me out with my task and it's just really? a whole hierarchy of just you're, minions. You're the actual architect because I'm the one that carries the bricks and doesn't yeah. actually know how to mix the mortar here and eventually <laughs> the whole building will collapse because nobody's actually paid proper attention to the planning yeah. permission required here. I'm just the ideas person, you know, I yeah. just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, speaking of ideas, do you have any for how we start off this proceeding here? We since we start off with this basic room every time, don't we? Um, I reckon so... you should start with that number one L piece. Number no, actually, don't do L... that. No, okay, okay. It wraps around that piece, so don't do that. Hmm. There's no points where two attach. Mm. And you don't lose a significant amount of ground on the first square. Ideally, we we don't want to seal off anything i guess you're gonna, yeah like you're gonna end up sealing off something with the uh the range of squares i feel like it's inevitable here. i mean this one literally has a door on every single like possible point i feel like you're not you're not supposed to be able to use every single bit so what hmm. can we maximize because i do think using although that does seal off two that's, it seals off yeah a that lot. seals so off I the whole you go side for the really long l piece the, the red one this one yeah yep and put that to no don't rotate it okay just have it horizontal to the right hand side Horizontal to the right hand side. Yeah, basically the, that... the way you have it, yeah, like that. Okay. Does that work? Oh, if okay. it doesn't, I mean, well, you can blame it, me for when it doesn't. No, it's fine. It closed off a door, but honestly, with all these parts we had, I, it would have been hard not to. So I think that's fine. Uh, so we need to we need to score forty points within twelve turns. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. The tutorial mm. had no limit. Now we okay. Now yeah. we got to really think. We got to really strategize. Um, now we do have... get we do get bonus Your points thoughts. for more gardens. Bonus points for magic rooms, bonus points for hallways. Oh no, this is- oh no! The boss is gonna kill us! <laughs> I- I don't know if it will entirely. Not entirely. Uh... Hmm. I reckon you should take that big square blue- the blue- Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 The big blue square, rotate it around. Uh, again. No, 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 again. And once more. And put it to the south of that red L block. Like, like yeah, that? like that. Yep. Okay. Because that was a big blank square that you had Yeah, there. that's good, that's good. But, have I made a mistake in doing that? Because now everything's squished together once more against that, that starting block. But we now can use... No, I, I, nope, nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This is why you do all the work. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a good idea to leave me to do it, to be honest. Ow. Um, so this is a but... magic... We do need to stack magic rooms for, for our bonus goal. So using these pink rooms would be good, but this one is such a tricky one. It I is feel a like we one. need to like go off yeah, like this like almost. Yeah. Do that. And then attach the three to it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, it's um, gonna it's gonna block it is, off. But, it, though, but, but you're gonna stack it. You're gonna stack it. So yeah. It's okay. Fine. Okay. Um, I reckon you could throw the two in there somewhere as well. Yeah. The the purple one on the on the red three. Probably it, rotate like, it like that. Yeah, no, 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 not no. like that. On the other like, point, the other point. No, 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 oh, no. Like, rotate it back to the way like it was. That, there like you that. go. Right, yeah. I see, I see. Okay, okay. Was um, that a good idea though? Again, have I brought everything too close together once again? Well, we have the magic rooms we need now, and this one okay. gives us a special ability for adding this into the mix, and that seems pretty simple to attach on. Yeah, but you're gonna lose a lot of rooms there if you're not careful. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it would have to be like this because every other one is yeah. too close. But there we go. That's got us an ability. Remove target door and this will contribute towards room completion. <gasps> we can say that a room has one less door and then it completes. Do okay. it. Okay. Which one? Well, so far, I guess, I guess we could theoretically remove this one, but I feel like we, we want to use that. We don't want to remove that. So we could maybe add this off of it. That's a nice one. Keeps everything out of the way. There's one extra point for it. There we go. We get a Ooh. perk as well. This is really good so far, honestly. I'm really enjoying like the strategizing. Um, okay, so your mischief rooms gain plus one score, and we already have two mischief rooms, so that seems like a no-brainer. Let's get that. Bam. 
There we go, there we go. Uh, so this has something, what's this? This has a, a plus three score for each neighbor of type hallway. Uh, we don't have any of those going no. right now. That's fine. Um, we just keep adding rooms for now. We need one more magic room to be able to get the bonus. So, so yeah. So, that the two, not oh okay. Not, not like not yeah. that one. You want? Oh no, because you have to attach them to the, the magic rooms to the magic rooms, don't you? Yeah. Well, I do. So we? maybe the I'm first actually... one. I don't know because I was going to say add that one you've got in your hand to the the red four that's at the top there. Yeah. But let's I, see. I thought you let's see if that together. Well, let's see if that counts. Oh yeah. No, they don't need to be okay. together. They don't need to be together. You just All need. Right, then. I think we were overthinking it. We we're making it more complicated than it had to be. Um, but we only have five turns left to get 40 points. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, Do next three. Okay, magic hold on. Rooms there, or can you add the, the other ones on there? I have gained two random perks. I'm just going to use that right away. Yep. Um, so that's given us plus two to our garden. Uh, and then I also have next three rooms you place get one extra score. That sounds amazing. Let's do that. Uh, so now whatever we put down is going to be worth a lot more. Um, hmm. Tricky, tricky pieces. You might, as well, you might as well throw some of those onto the, the middle section there that we haven't really taken advantage of. The start but, room. Yeah. Uh, like, like, yeah, oh, like man. that. No, really? No, like no, that? I would say so, right? Uh, Either that or, or do that, but rotate it to the top I'm side. I'm trusting instead. you, minion. I don't know if it's a good idea to trust your minions unequivocally. I put it down. Um, oh, okay, no. Okay, okay. I want to use this one. I think, like, that would be good. Okay. Um, increase the score of target win by two. Ah, perfect. Do it. Boom. So now we have 33. Okay, we have 33 We're points. Very close. And we How need 40. How many turns do we have left? Three turns, three turns. We can do this. We can do this. So... <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. Minion noises, yep. I like that. Mm. Little goblin mm. noise. <laughs> We've got a lot of interest. Mm. So this is the hallway, which does... Oh, wait, but we lost that other room. They got refreshed, right. But this does work with hallway. Plus two score if it's got a neighbouring hallway. But that's only worth one point. We want to get the... Ah, here we go. This is an unpleasant corridor worth two points, and it gets a plus one for each magic neighbor. So, okay, so if, I could, the... oh, well, if I could, if I could make it, it that's touch two rooms, though, right? I need it to touch as many magic rooms as possible. I guess that would work technically, would it? Isn't that just one room that's that's there? Oh, that is just one room. Yeah, there's no way I can get it to. Still, it would count as an extra point, right? Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're so close. Thirty-seven points. Okay. You just have to place one more magic room, technically. Is it? Is that a magic room? The purple one? No, it's uh, that entertainment. Pink? Entertainment. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like we've got the points. We just need... We've got two turns left. We just need three points. We're fine. I can just put whatever down. Okay. I mean, I, You're sure. Ideally, I make Don't it make actually... make any mistakes. ...competent. There we go. <laughs> Final turn! Oh, God. That's ominous. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. You're Trust me, we're fine. Away, Everything's though. fine. Everything's fine. So yeah. I just need to put a garden in. I want it to look good, though. You know, I don't just want it to be higgledy piggledy. No, I think our floor plan is going to be higgledy piggledy. Yeah, no there we go. Forty-three points. We did Damn. it. Sorted. <laughs> How do you like your new summer home, boss? I see you are finished. Yes, this will do just fine. But more importantly, what name did you come up with? Uh, the beachside. Resort. Don't interrupt. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Well, I was thinking that uh, maybe. <laughs> How does the dark shadow sound? Hmm? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you going to let us have any input otherwise? I mean, it does sound very evil. It does sound very evil. Aren't all shadows dark? I mean. I mean. Well, some shadows are darker than others. I would be the darkest shadow. The, the... Very, very good, boss. Very good. Okay. Oh, that's right! The name should be the darkest shadow! <laughs> You are so clever, boss. You're <laughs> just amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I am, aren't I? I need to go ask the others how they like it. <laughs> you did okay here. Report back soon for your new assignment. Vivian won! That was fun! I'm enjoying this. This is good. I could definitely see this having a lot of... Uh, uh, if it's going to be introducing other 
like minions to go up against, which I think is what it's building up towards. I could see this being a very slightly stressful, but not so stressful that it becomes annoying. Just that teetering on the edge of, oh my gosh, can you handle your base kind of thing. Um, so let's go to the next match and see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Hey, what are you doing here? This is where I will build the most evil lair the world has ever seen. So back off. I didn't know this organization hired kids. <laughs> yeah. I am not a kid. <laughs> Only a kid would carry around so many soda bottles. Uh, soda bottles? Uh, These are high explosives, lady. Very dangerous. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> uh, why don't you go play with your little bottles somewhere else? <laughs> Go and drink your milk. You will regret making fun of me. No, I won't. I won't. I see you already met Eddie. Great. That saves us some time. <laughs> you see, in our organization, we value efficiency above all. <laughs> so usually when I need a new lair, I ask several henchmen to make their own versions next to each other. <laughs> This way, I can choose which one I like best, and so everyone saves time. Well, that's that's very smart. What a, what a genius idea. I love the waste of resources. Yes, finally someone who understands efficiency. So today, you will be competing against Eddie here to see which one builds a lair more to my liking. <laughs> I'll let you two get to it. Okay, okay. So we have an objective. Score 70 points. Vivian starts. Right, now we take it in turns. Oh, okay, this is good. Do we play with the same pieces? I, I want to say no. Like, we'll get different pieces, right? I don't know. It this looks is like a we're, we're... battle. Interior design battle. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we might be taking from the same pool. Hmm, okay. Um, well, so let's... Get the, the, we want to take the, the three pointer. Yeah, we want to take yeah. that right away. We Put could block the, him off. Can we box edge. him in? Yeah. On the other side. Oh, no, uh, okay, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I should have trusted my minion. We've still got the most points, so we've got eight points. And yeah, it did take from the same pool. Okay. So let's take the two as well. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no, God, this is an... More. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's an annoying bit, I'll isn't it? I'll just it to the three, but I don't know if that's going to... The, the like, block you just, yeah, like so that. It's so big, though. You never know, though. You might get a, a piece that could uh, attach to okay, it. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, deal two damage to nearest enemy room. Ooh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh! We destroyed oh. the room. Amazing. Wait, what? They can block us off he as well. Oh, no. <laughs> you thought you were the only one with moves. Oh, no. Shit, we actually don't have much uh, real estate to work with here. Uh, oh god, where do I... What are you thinking? I need to... I need to... I need to really nice they haven't cut you off there. I need to get um, something out of this side, else that side's going to be lost. Then then put it... Hor no, I'd go with the long one, personally, yeah. and attach it... No, no, no. Attach it like that? to the left-hand side. Oh, left to the left-hand side. side? Rotate it around. Like, yeah. which way? Rotate. 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 There. there. That way. Right? Okay. Sure. Okay, new rooms, new rooms. He's stolen our Those garden. Four pointers would be great. Yeah, so we can try and get these bonus goals as well. We need entertainment rooms, garden, and kitchen. We have we have one garden that's been immediately blocked off, but Which, what colour's the kitchen one? The uh, orange. orange, yeah. I say mm. if we can take this other garden before he gets it, I think that'd be good. Okay. Um and we can just try and Ah, it's tricky, but... Oh, maybe we can... We can go like that. There we go. Yeah, pop up there. You really need one that will slot in there, though. Yeah. Uh, this is an entertainment room, which also has a bonus. You could it... put Although, that... Uh, but this one's worth point four in... points, though. Is the bonus worth more, though? I don't know. Then it go the... for the four and attach yeah. that to the bottom of that one. Like... No, like no, that. Yeah, that, that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. 
He's got more points than us now. This one's worth five. I'm taking this right away. Okay. Oh, mm, we're kind of running out of space. I'm worried about. You need to need to stretch out a little bit more with the space. Ah, damn. How do I? I think I'm gonna have to do like that. that. Yeah. Okay, we're taking this other garden as well because that would give us a free. What? You got an extra ten? Oh my yep. god. Because they got the bonus. Well, we need this garden. If I can. I don't think you can put that there. That. Unless you rotate it around again. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like, coming off like that? Or maybe mm -hmm. like that even, yeah. Okay. Bonus goal completed. There we go. So that got us some abilities. Uh, deal one damage to target room. And he just placed the one down. So I'm just going to blow that up. There we go. <laughs> That's gone now. Um, also, so increase... Is that an entertainment room there as well? That one there? The Hold on. One? I, I can increase the score by two. So I'm just going to put that on on just the starter room. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's an ent oh, no, it's a magic room. Sorry, that's pink. We need purple for entertainment. Um, there's also this, a sabotage room, which shoots three cannonballs randomly, each cannonball dealing one damage on impact. So we could put like a... We could... Tr oh, that's interesting. Look how that works. We could try and... Oh, it doesn't oh. fit into what we have. Oh, unless I... It does at the end of the garden. I could do that. Down. Okay, all that. That does slot in nicely there. Go for yeah, that. yeah. Oh, yes. There we go. That was good. That was good. And so now they've got less points. Oh, damn. He's he's chaining mm. his bonuses. I don't know what he's doing. Um. Okay. Uh. Now, let's just look for the thing that has the biggest goal. Uh, uh, so this gives plus one score of its neighbor to a garden. So if you took that other garden that's worth two points and added it to the garden that we've got that's two points to the left-hand side there. And then we could yeah. maybe... See, I'd want no, a way for it the to other fit. Way round. Other yeah. way round. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't take it. Okay, okay. But how do we get the... We need to get the neighbor... Ah, oh, that's not going to be neighborly with more than one bit, but... Still, I think it's worth putting that down. Okay, because we can... Ah, oh, he took the garden. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, but here's an entertainment room. Um, take it. And if we... Uh, would this might be better one to put down first because that yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one first I don't see which bit you've got until you grabbed it oh sorry sorry <laughs> yeah yeah why are they taunting us I'm Get out of here. kind of beating our butt right now they are they um are. I'm just gonna put that like here right boom boom and that got us another sabotage. <laughs> he used a barricade. Oh, he closed mm. off that. Oh my gosh. He's doing. He's got 39 points. Yep. But I can sabotage this room and break the two connected to it, right? Does that. I don't know how that but, works. <laughs> I don't think that took away many of their points, though. Yeah. I do have another cannon. Do it. Connect it. Oh, you don't really. You can't really connect. I it could do it like way, that, you? maybe. No, that doesn't fit either. Ah, oh, damn. I don't think that's got the range needed. It's tricky. Nah, I'm gonna save that for now. We're gonna take the points. They're gonna take that though. They are gonna take that. They Should are. I just put it down, even if it's not gonna hit anything? Because it is Possibly. worth three points. Is it, still. is it not gonna hit that the their base there? It might. There. It might. Let's try. Oh, um. Deal two damage to nearest enemy room as well. Okay. Oh, it doesn't look like you can deal damage to the starter room. Damn. That is a shame. Still, well, they we can't got... deal damage yeah, to us right exactly. now. Exactly. We got the three points from it. Um. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Grab that two pointer Grab and put the it next two. to the, the five pointer we've got down at the bottom there. Like that, maybe? Yeah, I like that. Oh, and that made that worth six as well. Nice. Okay. 41 to 46, and it's first one to 70. I mean, we're not we're not too far behind. We can still claw this back. That, that's five points mm. right there. Yeah, take that five points if you can. Probably slot it in like that, right? There yes. You took the four points, but that's fine. We've got... Electricity disposal depot. Shoot lightning that deals one damage on impact and then jumps to neighbor rooms three times. Ooh. Ooh, 
that could work. Go that could it. be good. Okay, okay. Mm. And now we're even again for the moment. Oh shit. And then they're gonna do that exactly back to you. Why did- Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no. <laughs> and yeah, that's put us at a severe disadvantage there. That was really bad. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one-point music room now. Uh, oh dear, that might have just screwed us, babe. Oh, is, um, it, is it close to the doors? It's electrically yeah, the doors we... right off. Yeah. Ah oh, dear. Gaining an additional turn could be something. Or double a room score. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. I need to listen to my minion. If you doubled the room score, couldn't you start like double the starting room score or that oh, I could have pointed there? Oh my god, that would that would have been so much better. Oh, yeah, it would have. This, I... But you didn't. Oh, you just clicked. I'm sorry. Anyway, you're in charge, boss. You I am. It. Thank you. I am your boss. I feel like that might change soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep an eye on the time as well, baby. Yes, yes. I think we can finish this one before we move on to the next game today. But this this has been really fun. I haven't. I can definitely see this being something that I uh, I want to perfect. Like th the introduction of the AI and like. Seeing that you can sabotage the enemy and, and what to do against them and how to maximize your scores. It's quite, quite involved. Um, okay, so, oh god. I don't, I don't know what to go for. I, I think the four point is just the best one. And if we can stack that off a kitchen, that'd be even better. There we go, seven points. 52 to 56, it's still pretty close. Okay, okay. Hmm. So... This one is an explosive room that's worth zero points, but if you place it to, if you neighbor an enemy room, it, it deals five damage. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere we huh. can attach that to that would neighbor we to an don't. enemy. So that's a waste, unfortunately, but we do have- But they've got points they could probably attach it to that will uh, damage yeah. our design floor planning. I'm just gonna have to go for the two points, I think. Yeah, just take what I can. Take as many points as you can get. Oh, fuck you, dude. Oh my god. They remind me of a Borderlands character and I can't think of which one it is. Oh yeah, no, I see that vibe. Like one of the bandits. Yeah, but one of the named bandits. I can't think of what the, the, their name is though. <laughs> Fair. Well, we've completed all the bonus goals. We just have to, oh, he's on 67. We're not winning, exactly. He's on 67. Oh no. Shit. Do we, do we carry on taking as many points as we can? Uh, yeah, like, can we attach I... that four to that five over there? Are we going to get more points for right. doing that? Yeah. Just... The chaining rooms. Ten, ten points there for completing that room. 40, 68! Oh my god, we're in the lead! We're in the lead! But are they no! about to win? We were yeah, so exactly. close! Exactly. We were so close. Oh no. You fucking Wally. Oh dear. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna, I, oh, you don't want to know what the overlord's gonna do to me. No, um, no, luckily it won't happen to me though, because you're my overlord, so... You congrats know. on your promotion, babe. Um, <laughs> I will you. see you in the hell pits. Um, so, that was a little peek of uh, Chambers of Devious Design, it's called, right? Um, oh yes. my gosh. Uh, now, I did want to point out, we, we, we only have an hour to do each game today, so unfortunately we can't show off some of the other stuff, but this does have remote play as well. You can do multiplayer, you can play with your Steam friends. Um, you can indeed. And you can set up, you can set like custom rules, like how many turn, like what the limit is, stuff like that. Like there's all kinds of things here. It's, it's um, like a, a fancy battleships in a way. Yeah, you can right? even, yeah, you can even go up against AI with like custom rules. You can have up to like four players going. There's a lot, there's a lot. So yeah, be sure to wishlist this guys. This isn't out yet, but it is due out in, um, I believe quarter three of 2022 this year, uh, if I've got that correct. Um, what 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 is that in in normal people speak, babe? Is that like September? Uh, that was just silence. <laughs> I met with. <laughs> yeah. What is a third quarter of a year? <laughs> mm. I think I think yeah. It's it's not specific. I think it's just yeah between September and November roughly. Okay. Thank you very um, much. Yeah. Excellent. Um, I. I don't think there's anything else we can do on this game now because else it's going to take a long time to get into another game again. So I think yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do for now. That was Chambers of Devious Design, everyone. What a lot of fun that was. My goodness, I enjoyed that. I, would you like to play that with me later? No Honestly, joke. The fact that it's got remote play 
uh, we can we can do multiplayer. Yeah, that sounds very very cool. I like um, it. There we go. Yeah. Is there is there anything else to talk about this game before we wrap up this one? I want to make sure I've covered everything. I so I think um, we've mostly covered everything. Yeah. So again, this is Chambers of Devious Design. It does have uh, a bit of PvP as well as the PVE roguelike mode as well. Uh, a tactical base building game tasked with designing an evil lair for an evil mastermind. But watch out! You are not the only one looking to gain favor with the boss. Come up with creative designs and sabotage your competitors. Base building, turn-based tactics, roguelike, bit multiplayer even. Amazing. Sounds great. Um, got it all. Yeah, yeah. It's not quite out yet, but it looks like it's due out soon. Make sure you wishlist it so you know when it's out. Um, good stuff, good stuff. Right. So what's game number two then, well, darling? I um, I've, I've been given some a bit of information as to as to how this is meant mm. to proceed here. I believe the Inside best thing, information. The best thing for Sorry. us to do would actually be to take a quick, just five minute break. Uh, it's actually quite sweaty in my room. Um, I haven't been able to have the fan on because that interferes with my mic. Um, so I'm just going to stretch my legs. I'm just going to grab another drink. Crab another drink, I was about to say. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, go stretch your legs. Go get comfy. Go get a drink. Uh, we'll be back in like five minutes. And then we'll be moving on to the next game, which is a base building game in space. Yes, yes. Mars base. It's going to yeah. be good. See you then, guys. Don't go anywhere except to get a drink.